My name's Chad Teeters, and I'm the Chief of Cardiology at Highland Hospital. The question is in regards to red wine being a heart healthy uh, substitute for preventing cardiovascular disease and also a derivative of red wine, resveratrol, as being a possible medicinal component that could be used for treatment of, of coronary disease patients. In general, it's easier, rather than getting into all the specific chemical names, just to think of them as antioxidants. And we all know that antioxidants are very beneficial. We know that they're good for preventing coronary disease, preventing vascular inflammation, all of these things which are on the pathway to forming atherosclerosis or blockages in the arteries in the heart. We've known for years this uh, French heart paradox. Uh, so the French obviously drink a lot of red wine and yet they seem to be somewhat protected even though they have high butter, uh, lots of sweets in their diet. And so the thought was is that there must be something special about red wine that prevented the French from developing coronary disease. And so this has been a, not just decades, but hundreds of years long discussion. So this definitely seems to be unique to red wine, uh, not even unique to wine in particular. And it does give people some leeway sometimes to say, oh, I should be drinking, or it's truly about a glass of red wine a day for women and about a glass and a half for men uh, that seems to have that beneficial effect. Beyond that, you get the deleterious effects of alcohol use, and outside of red wine, these benefits don't seem to hold true for any other alcoholic beverage. Patients will ask all the time, should I just be drinking a glass of red wine every day, and is that my substitute for exercise? Or I, I like to smoke, but I drink red wine, is that okay? And the reality is, is that this is one small piece to a very large puzzle. Uh, we know that red wine may have benefits. We know that exercise and diet definitely have benefits. And as far as decreasing your risk, red wine probably is kind of like dusting the nightstand in the bedroom, whereas exercise and dieting is making the bed, vacuuming the floor, and doing everything else in between. What people need to remember is that we are, we're really nibbling away at the edges of what remains as far as cardiac risk and everybody's trying to look for that next key piece that we might be able to advance the field that much further. We've already come a very long ways and that's not to say that we stop or we give up or say enough's enough, but most of these supplemental uh, therapies are really meant to be kind of the fine tuning, not really the big picture all, uh, change. So even if we said that red wine was completely useless, it would not be that we would suddenly lose a whole segment of our treatment plan. That's one very small piece to a very large puzzle uh, that we already have fairly good control over.